マサヤ放課後だよ放課後 She, Misaki also seems like a really cute girl, so. Oh man, I'm so ex. I'm actually really curious about Misaki already, yeah. Like, she's, she's her. She's. Yeah, she, she's the one that's been like very close to Masaya for the past two years, for the, like, since the start of high school, right? So. And then she's still getting along with him, so it's like. To see how this transitions. Yeah, into her. You know, her. Her and you know, him getting together yeah, as a couple is gonna be interesting, yeah. So it's like, because、mm. earlier we saw kind of so, it also because of the fact that I, that I saw the opening trailer earlier, right? And、oh, that, that kiss scene, so okay, but that, let's not get to that, so as to avoid any spoilers. So, but I'm definitely curious to see how it's gonna, yeah, you know, how, yeah, Misaki. Yeah, and and Masaya are going to like end up, you know, dating if I go down her route. Yeah, like get together and then, you know, start to romance each other. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm curious now. But I'm save, I'll be saving her for as the second route yeah, of the of this vision of her. Yeah, so, right. Yeah, I know. Ah, Shiteru. <laughs> So Misaki is now awake. <laughs> so she's practically half asleep when she's in school. Now that it's after school. <laughs> oh, she's wide awake. Right. For the Seido year, a totally different person wants to be out of class. Not that that's anything new. So I guess when Masaya said something about her having low blood that pressure or something low, yeah, low sugar or what. <laughs> now that was. A- That was just half joking, I guess. It's like in school, she doesn't like school basically, but once she's, once she's after school, oh yeah, it's fun and games, I'm so energized. Extreme mood chiefs are on a downright concerning level. <laughs> Is it really that, that serious? Since she has low blood pressure in the morning, maybe it's fight and she popped a vessel up there. Please. <laughs> Oh, we have a new girl here, but this is not the, one of the heroines. But hey, Madoka, she looks interesting with that Tsundere tooth over there. <laughs> yeah, so, hmm, interesting. She's wearing a, a jacket, it seems. Actually, I, I, I noticed, like, you know, like the girls, this school girl's uniform is pretty unique. Because, like, the shirt, I.、Right? Like it's not exactly like in that I I guess that I don't think there's a button. I don't think this uniform has a button because you see like at the bottom of the shirt like that's it's it's open right. It's not like button up or something. But of course like behind this this uh shirt is an undershirt right.、Uh, but I think the one that's like tying the 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 shirt together is the ribbon basically. For guys though, I think it's、uh, it's buttons. I can't really see the. Uh, boys shirt, yeah. So I guess we、we'll、have to see for a while. Oh, and I just saw the sensei running out of class or something. <laughs> okay, let's model car with the purple hair. So you agree with me, huh? Oh, 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 oh! First, I was gonna go. Definitely, Gozen and Gogo are two different people. I thought. Or maybe she has some split personality. <laughs> This girl is our class representative, model car Ay- Aoyagi. Oh, she's basically the chairman, the、uh, class chairman. She's a friend of Misaki, and so I and I talk to her a lot. So unlike Misaki, she's a normal human being. Really, <laughs> she looks more like Tsundere, but anyway. <laughs> Misaki with that expression, the ang, the ang, the pouting expression. They could be acting like you are. Can't blame us for doubting you when it looks like you are. Yeah, okay, so、uh, I guess being honest is a good thing, yeah? Oh, really? Urayamashi na. More gloomy? I would say it's more that I'm a free spirit. 
is being true to myself. <laughs> well, I, I, I need to buy you a giant bowl of udon so that for your consultation. Bye, Misaki. See you tomorrow. Jane. <laughs> Don't get the joke. <laughs> yeah, not falling for a trick. Oh, wait. Oh, this guy is a uh, Asuka, right? Got the booty. Oh, oh, we're outside the classroom. At least, it's, uh, one thing, one, you know, what, what, what to say, like, uh, promising thing that I see about this vision novel is that, like, at least you see, like, all this, like, when all these backgrounds that we see, at least there's, like, students to show that, you know, at least the, the place is lively. Because, you know, like, most vision novels, the backgrounds tend to be empty, like, there's no one in the background, right? Even in like school, like there's an empty classroom. Even though like it's after school, but then the, the background shows you know the classroom being empty. <laughs> and then even you go outside of the like go outside of the classroom within the school premises, you see why is it so empty? Again? I thought it's supposed to be students, you know? <laughs> At least this vision now is definitely promising, like there's it, it there is a lively it does show life life in here, you know, there's liveliness here. I almost bumped into a girl as I leave my classroom. Sorry, are you okay? Daijobu? Ah, we have a new girl right here. And this girl is one of the four heroines. Yeah. But it seems like she's wearing a different uniform. Actually, I've been wondering, like, I. I saw the four heroes, right? That she's the only one, well, apart from the fourth one, who also wears a different uniform, but that she's, I'm pretty sure she's from a different school. But this one, I thought she she's from a different school, but it seems like no. It seems like she's in the same school, I see. But she's wearing a different school uniform. Well, she said that she, she addresses, um, yeah, she addresses what's Masaya as as senpai, so I guess she's a junior, right? But but she's wearing a uniform. That's a different school uniform. So does that mean like different school levels, different levels in this school wear different school uniforms? Hmm. Sorry about that, Arisaka. So her name is Arisaka. Yeah, Hinata Masaya is this guy main protagonist full name. Oh yeah yeah, so na. Ah, Mashiro is her given, so it's, uh, so it's Arisaka Mashiro. Okay. The two of us end up apologizing to each other for a while. Well, she's going to be the first one that I'll, uh, first girl that I'll, yeah, choose. Uh, mainly because, like, well, she, I'm not really into, like, little, you know, that kind of little girl stereotype, not a stereotype, but like, I'm not into little girls like her basically, because she does give off the little girl vibe for, for another, another term would be a lolly. <laughs> but she's not a lolly, but she, she has, she looks like that, you know. Yeah, so, not really into that type. But, yeah, but she's the first girl that I'll go down a route. I'm guessing you came to get Misaki. Oh, why are you getting her? No idea why she's acting like that, so only natural. But moving on. Want me to call Misaki? Hey, Misaki! I call to Misaki, who's still in the classroom, and tell her that Arisaka's waiting for her. After that. Alright, I'm heading out now. Oh, Masai is going home? Well, I'm not going home yet. Huh? Don't worry about it. See you. I walk away leaving behind a puzzle, Arisaka. Alright, Misaki and Aris and Mashiro. Arisaka. Misaki Seems like Misaki and Mashiro are really close. Yeah. But, 
あちらへもう帰られましたバイセイスのゴインホーメタバコと反対方向にいやえまさか例の手つなぎちゃんかおおシスタキスマイエーシソーデムアリアンデモーニング I hear over to the faculty room leaving Misaki and the other two behind. That's where she, she's going to meet I, Asuka again, I think. Ojamashimasu. Wait, the staff room. See, even like you go into the staff room, you see there's like teachers all around. So you can see it's like really, really lively, right? Really active. It shows realness, you know? Yeah, not like what? Empty. Imagine you see, oh, empty staff room. It's like. <laughs> so.、Mm. Right as I enter the faculty room, I see a hand waving me over from Aoi san's desk in the back left corner. Oh, right, I forgot. Aoi said, told, told him to look for her after school, right? So, yeah, there he is here. Here he is. I feel a bit uneasy since I've got no clue what she wants, but I hit her over regardless. But, like, I seriously, like, like, What, why, why is she able to wear this kind of outfit <laughs> in school? <laughs>、uh, like, like, what's her excuse, basically? What's her reason for being able to wear like this? Does she have some kind of symptom or what? But this is like so sexy, man. <laughs> like, oh wow, you know, like. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> By the way, speaking of which. This, this kind of outfit is the kind of outfit that you, you see nowadays very common in the US, right? And even in my home country as well. Nowadays, I, I, I go outside, I've seen a lot of girls wear like this. You know? That just goes to show how care, well, not carefree, but like how free spirited they are, right? They are, they are really casual, they, are really, they really want to express themselves and all that. And it's cool. I mean, I love this kind of sexiness. And you know, every time I see girls wearing like this, of course it turns me on, right? It turns every man on, on okay? Unless a man has a wife, maybe your wife, or. <laughs> But, okay, anyway. She's in the middle of enjoying an afterward coffee, sitting there in a chair with her usual back posture. Nobody's going to address her. This outfit though, But, I mean, I guess everyone already knows her well by now, so I guess. They're not addressing the elephant in the room, but. <laughs> I would like some explanation, though. Honestly, with the way she dresses, I'm unsure where to look. Oh, now you're, you're addressing it, but. Like, why, was she, why is she able to wear like this? The mere key ties enters my side, no matter what I do. So I'm unable to ignore them. You're looking at her tie. What about the belly button, man? Belly button is now the thing, the fashion. <laughs> Funny thing is, this is actually an improvement. She used to wear a mini skirt until the other teachers knocked her down. Oh shit. Mini skirt, huh? Oh, she's that hairy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't mind. What do you want? She brought out something pretty awkward, so I'm gonna cut the chase. <laughs> She shows me a paper that she had prepared beforehand. Ah, oh yeah, her name is Asuka Kurashi. Kurashika, right? I can't remember what. Kurashi something? Kurashika or Kurashiha? I can't remember. Yeah, but she's Asuka, that's what I remember. She lives in Shito City. I'm pretty sure, like, in the original Japanese version, this one obviously is written in Japanese. Yeah, for the English version, they changed this to English. On the left is a photo and the right name.、Uh, or rather, on the left is a photo and the right name and address. You need that. I can see a breakdown of academic accomplishments and a list of references. Oh, so this is Asuka's old school uniform. I recognize the name and face instantly. Why wouldn't I when it's still fresh in my memories? Korewa. Aoi san speaks up a white grin on her face, and I, as I sit there in silence. Yeah. Krasina Asuka. 
転校生だ。Start her paperwork earlier today. Is that why she's only starting school officially tomorrow? So, Rashina is a family name. How does she know I know her? Well, <laughs> don't tell me. Yeah, I mean that. That's only one way. Wait, don't tell me you saw us together this morning. He returns a hearty nod before she replies. Ah, not a yosa so ni teo tsnai de tokoro made na. Seriously, I didn't even realize she was watching us. Well, she noticed it, you all. Aoi-san isn't the kind of person who has any problem with students dating, but she's also famous for chewing out anyone who's fooling around. That's like, making out. <laughs> so what about Krashina-san? I quickly changed the topic, which makes her don an odd motherly expression. Okay. A paper? So basically, you're asking me to help me. Maybe I guess guide Asuna, guide Asuka around the the campus, around the school. She sneakers, picks up her coffee mug, and takes a seat out of it. Getting deja vu here. Oh, I see. It's not just deja vu. She said those exact same words to me in the distant past, as in when he was excited about flying. So yeah, seems like I'll be your instructor. Again, my name is Masaya Hina. Oh, so Masaya is going to be uh, Asuka's flying instructor? That's interest. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh? Shidoin te Hinata san no koto datta desu ka? Yeah. So we now fast forward to here. It's been about ten minutes since my conversation with Aoi san. After we finished talking, I headed over to the courtyard and approached Rashina san, who had been waiting for me. It's all destined, yeah. I mean, the moment she saw Masaya and Asuka together, it means yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, Aoi is also, yeah. I mean, the fact that you remember earlier she saw that Masaya starting to die again, it means she's starting to see hope. You know, that's why, that's why she decided to, you know, assign Masaya as. Yeah, as Asuka's instructor. Yeah, I'm surprised too. You want me to teach her how to fly? So, Masaya nara saiteki da to me. Well, that is a simple favor. She wants me to teach Krasina-san with unfamiliar graph shoes how to fly. In urban cities, the use of graph shoes comes with certain limitations. For example, you can only use them at certain times, and you need to get licenses. Yeah, we 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 we've gone through, we've been through this, we've gone through this. Yeah, only in this particular city, this city in particular, then you can fly freely anywhere you want within these three islands. But here, a simple application is more than enough. As such, grab shoes are a dime a dime uh are a dime a dozen here. Everyone knows how to use them, and all and they all rely on them. However, shoes that allow you to fly and flight itself are probably confusing for outsiders. That's why the authorities that hand out grab shoe grab shoes licenses put some precautions in place. Corporate instructor to work is quite a pleasure, but if you're a Masaya, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, you're probably right, but. 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 <laughs> what does that mean, Aoi? <laughs> it's Kagami. <laughs> well, sure, I don't, but. Okay, what they established is the limited area flight instructor system. Basically, it's a system where certified individuals teach beginners how to fly. And I'm one of those people. I earned my stripes a pretty long time ago too. When you was a little boy or something. Rashina-san says, 
be sparkling eyes. You don't really say I'm an expert. All I am just used to it, really. Answer curtly to which he replies. I hope she didn't tell her anything unnecessary. Nah, I don't think it's anything unnecessary, really. Kunahama Island, yeah. She bows to me after saying that, and continues. And this is the start. This is the start. She should, sure, I'll do what I can. And she sure is motivated. Well, it's way easier to teach someone with motivation than someone who has absolutely zero interest. But I can't contain. Anyway, it makes sense that Kurashina sounds here. Why, why, why mention her name in the third perspective? No, no, no. <laughs> you don't mention like that in third perspective. No. Anyway, it makes sense that you're here, but. I spin around and heave a sigh in an exaggerated fashion. Why, why are you sighing? What's your reason? I get Misaki, but how about you, Arisaka? Wait, Misaki and Arisaka are here too? So three of the four heroines are here. What do you mean breaking bad? <laughs> so this Um uh, uh, crap, why are you too Oh you too jealous now? Ah no na. I'm only doing this because Miss Kagami asked me to. I'm telling off the people who have come with the rap ass man. Well, Misaki is his classmate. I'm not sure what his, what his relationship is with Mashiro though. Rashina san asked me about them with a puzzled expression. Ignore them. They aren't worried. <laughs> they aren't really worked out. Why would she want? Why would she want you to follow her? Hi, hi. Arisaka Mashiro desu. One year, film desu. Misaki senpai no haiku to yuka, shimobe to yuka. What? Kana kanji de tanosuku yatte mas. Why are you being her servant? I don't get it. <laughs> Seems I guess that's how Mashiro got to know uh, Masaya because of her relationship with Misaki. あたしは真白とかマートか次に呼んでください。でも、さきちゃんも真白とか。ちょっと関連かもだと思いにつ。それ以外は何でもいい。だけど、ごい。ごい。ごい。ごい。ごい。ごい。ごい。ごい。ご
So the grass shoes actually originated from India? That's interesting. In the experiment, scientists discovered particles that turn the very laws that govern the world upside down. If only there's such a discovery now in real life, <laughs> then we all can fly. You know what I'm talking about, right? Only anti antigravitons exist in real life, here, and not in response. The discovery of strange particles that defy gravity antigravitons led to a groundbreaking invention. That invention was... that the grass shoes I'm holding together. Antigravitons shoes, which are commonly referred to as grass shoes, was considered them to be the greatest invention brought about by this, the discovery of the antigraviton. You know, usually, like like vision novels like these, they are like they have some educational, you know, stuff in here. Like I think, like for example, uh, uh, like like things like if my heart had wings, actually I I kind of like have lost a bit of quite some interest in my heart had wings. Like, because like if my heart had wings, has some educational background, like educational info and all that, right? Yeah, so usually that when it comes to that kind of stuff, it, it to me it feels kind of dry. Like maybe also the same with other than the blue sky. Yes. But Alcana is different. Alcana even though also, they also have some scientific knowledge, they like talk about some educational stuff. The thing is it's something interesting to, to me anyway, because it's anti gravity it's like flying and also I know it just feels interesting. Like yeah. I want to learn more actually because it involves flying, you know. <laughs> it sounds it seems much more much more intriguing than like stuff in like if my heart had wings and uh rather than blue sky. I guess mainly because stuff in rather than the blue sky and if my heart had wings reflect real life. Whereas here is well it's fantasy. What you need to understand is that it doesn't work by blocking gravity or simply repelling it. Think of it more like how submarines float on the water. Rashina san gazes at the grass shoes in her hands with a look of admiration on her face. Alright, let's see more history for another time and try flying a little. Huh? In this car? I mean, you already flew earlier with, the, with some assistance, but still. Yeah, we can break lessons on history into small chunks and spread them out. Also, grass shoe laws don't apply on school grounds, so you don't need to know them right away. Since the laws are based on those of driver's licenses, beginners can practice on private ground. So it's basically like, like how, how you get a driver's license. You need to go through driving lessons first, right? So driving lessons means you can only drive on like, you don't, yeah, on private ground or like, on, on public roads, yes, but limited, you know. I walk over to Kurashina san and press the buttons located on the heels of the grass shoes. Alright, I'll turn your shoes on. Let's take a small step to open your legs like I taught you this morning. Good. Now, raise your heels for making sure to keep your balance. Alright, all that's left is to speak the activation sequence whenever you're ready and slowly fill it up. It starts off slow at first, just like a car, so you don't need to worry. So they basically program the, the anti gravity shoes like a car. That's interesting. After taking a deep breath, Rashina san releases herself. Let's fly! Then she stretches her body upward and... Ooh, wow. A thin mechanical whirl can be heard following the chime of the startup sound. Wings grow from Krasina san's grass shoes. I wonder how that actually... Wait, do those wings like represent the anti gravitational particles? I guess so. They're just for show, but they do make the shoes look a lot better. Oh, they're just for show, I see. <laughs> So, like, some, some kind of light, I guess. 
Okay. Yeah, but it does make it realistic to show that you're flying. Actually, it's the anti graviton particles that are making them the person fly, but it's just to for show to show how cool it is, show some realism. <gasps> right? Then slowly her body starts to float up into the air. And this is only the start. <laughs> She's waving her hands at me like an overexcited kid at the bottom part. <laughs> I think this should be the thumbnail though, rather than the other one. I mean, Aoi is sexy, yeah, but this is this is more tight to the context of this episode, so. <laughs> oh yeah, she's flying, yeah, very really cool, yeah. Oh. Why not? Why not we join her? I mean, she's excited, so I think she should be fine. Something wrong? Oh shit! No! Rashina san's body started, starts to jiggle left and right. Oh no. Don't worry, I set the maximum altitude to 5 meters when I touch them. Oh, okay. Oh, Rashina san keeps trashing her arms and legs about, which makes her body flip. Whoops. <laughs> but 5 meters is still gonna be. still gonna hurt, right? It, 5 meters is. is not. Too high, but it's still high enough to like get injured. She comes down to the ground back first. But at least, at least the anti graviton shoes have safety mechanism. So that's not too bad. Despite the fact that she's already on the ground, she keeps kicking out her legs and tapping her arms. You're on the ground, Asuka. Yeah, so which is good, you know, the anti gravity shoes has have safety mechanism. Well you realized you suddenly found yourself on the ground, right? That's also a feature of grass shoes. I extend my hand towards Krashina Sun, grab her hand and help her up. Okay, we're gonna stop here to, for today. That's fast. Nice. Oh wait, to serve as some additional practice, I choose to return to our neighborhood in the same manner as this morning. But Asuka looks sad because it's like first she she was excited that she was flying, but then suddenly she lost balance, and now she's like upset that she's gonna control herself. But now she's flying back, I guess, with uh with Masayas, yeah. So. It's her first time flying, so my plan was to get her used to it little by little, but... Why are you sad? I mean, it's not easy to master flying, you know. Maybe the shock of not being able to fly, fly properly got to her. It's being way too quiet. That actually like, kind of like reminds him of himself, right, when he was young, like because he failed to soar to the stars and that's why he was he's not depressed and like, you know. That was your first time trying to find Oh, there's no need to get worked up over it. Misaki told, told, told me she couldn't fly straight during her first time too. And I'm sure it's the same for Masaya, right? So, you know, Masaya, you should put yourself in Asuka's shoes. We we'll practice after school from now on, so really. Maybe you should like treat her when she succeeds or something. <laughs> treat her to some meal or reward. Her ongoing silence makes me worry that something's wrong. Listen to Krashna son, you have no reason to feel down. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Doesn't seem like she's upset though. Oh. 
Rashina san. I figured she was pretty bummed, but this is something else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shout at the top of your lung. You feel frustrated. Whoa! The loud scream takes me by surprise. And she fixates a resolute gaze on me. Uh, hi! Hi? <laughs> uh, Dozo? さっきですね。ちょっとだけどっとんだ時、私すっごく楽しかったんです。ナイス。グッドノ。ざっと地面ばかり歩いていた私がこうやって空中でふわふわ動いてて信じられない気持ちでした。なのに。ラプチャー、
But what's most impressive is the way she's using her eyes. Seems like they do not know each other. She's slightly checking her surroundings while keeping her eyes on the black path. Very definition of safe type. It's squishy. Yeah, it seems I I because I, I thought Masaya and this girl know each other. Because from what I read from the context, like she's the she's his neighbor, right? But it seems like they do not know each other. The varying degrees of beauty to even something as simple as basic type. Or whether a person can keep their type path stable are two key factors. The former is determined by whether you can keep your back straight and your feet aligned. It's often compared to the form you maintain during swimming. Yeah, I would say, I mean, like, flying is sort of like swimming to some extent. Yeah. As for the latter, where it's based on whether you're flying straight while also curving your body elegant. Roughly speaking, those are what most people consider the criteria for beauty. I wonder what the anime adaptation is going to go down. Probably the... Like, Masaya is going to choose the hero eventually. I and mean, I'm sure the heroine that she eventually chooses is the one that she... Yeah, basically Asuka. That's why I'm saving her for, like, last. Yeah. The girl who's flying in my direction is satisfying all of those criteria. She's clearly more than qualified to be a certified instructor. I know it's unfair to compare them, but she's on a completely different level from Kurashina-san. And I bet Kurashina-san will have a great time if she could fly like that. Hmm. Yeah, she's a textbook example. You should remember her form and make use of it when giving Kurashina-san advice. I pay close attention to the way she's moving her hands and legs as well as how she's choosing her flight path. Uh, the uniform is... Do you recognize it? Got so caught up in watching her that I only now realize she's not wearing a Kunahama uniform. Akafuji? Oh, where is it from? I shall ask her. Oh, I ponder that question, the girl slows down as she approaches the terminal, then stands uh, then silent. Hi girl, where are you from? She takes a breath, quickly straightens her clothes and walks away. Yeah, I see that she has like... Oh, you no, know, her hair pins are like some feathers. <laughs> That's quite cute. Even the way she's walking is just as graceful. Oh no, she's gone. <laughs> That's something I would tell Misaki to learn from. <laughs> Honestly, Misaki's usual pottering has me worried. Alright, time to head home, I guess. That's why she, he beats her. Neighbors! <laughs> Right? Yeah. Once the girl was outside, I walked away. The sky has now been dyed by the sunset. And it's night time. Later that evening, I noticed something. Huh? Someone finally moved in next door? It's her. Hiruma, the owner while I was cooped up in my room dealing with my homework, my mom contacted me into a walkie-talkie app. Why, why are they talking with the walkie-talkie? That, that's interesting though. <laughs> yeah, parents, you know, family should, all families should do that. <laughs> so they are lazy to just oh, walk to the, the you know, okay, parents to talk, just talk via the walkie-talkie. Yeah, the walkie-talkie app. She isn't very good with technology, so she's really happy that she got a knife of the app I taught her to use a while ago. That's why she keeps pointlessly contacting me through it at home. Oh, so she's just playing around with it. <laughs> Should we go say hi? Oh yeah? The house next door has been vacant for two years. I always assumed it was going through some pretty hardcore renovations because of that. You wait. If the family moving in there has a, fam has a kid around my age, they'll be transferring to my school. Oh, what if that girl is actually going to transfer to his school? Yeah, we saw earlier, yeah, with the pink uniform. But it's the middle of April. Getting a transfer student two weeks after the start of the new school year is a little weird. I would really be weird. Mm, oh, thinking about Kurashina, thinking about Asuka. Ah, no way. Can be. 
It would be a hell of a coincidence. Wait, you mean Asuka? I don't think it's her though. Whoa! The almost unbelievable timing of the doorbell ringing makes my heart skip a bit. But if it's her, I wouldn't be surprised either. Pretty sure you're right on the money. Alright. But you're on the first floor and I'm on the second, ma'am. Oh, okay. I can hear the sound of fizzling oil as she says that. Alright. Here we go, let's see who's the mysterious neighbor is outside the door. I can't try I can't quite tell whether I'm feeling anxious or excited here. Yeah, the, we're in front of the door. Wait for the front door with a cold sweat running down my back. Why is he nervous though? <laughs> Oh, coming! Can't keep them waiting too long. I slide my feet into a pair, into a pair of slippers and reach out for the doorknob. Omatase! Yeah, this is the girl we saw earlier. <laughs> but, oh my god, there's like so many CGs! This episode, like as much as I want to put all of them no, I can't really do that. I have to choose just one of them. Eh, but oh, this 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 CJ is really cute. It shows this girl, the new neighbor. Yeah, she's wearing a really cute shirt, by the way, a sleeveless shirt. Yeah, and she she's holding a pot of what looks like noodles. I mean noodles, yeah. But what kind of noodles? Hmm. Interesting. You no, know, first they move in. Oh, hey, here's something for you to eat. That's really nice of her. Oh, it's you. <laughs> and she's kind of kind of blush. Huh? Who's this? She knows this time bows her head. It's the girl you saw earlier, Masaya. No problem. Very polite. Yeah, it's soba. In my mind, I was just thinking whether it's soba, but okay, this has confirms that it's soba. Yeah. Because only soba is white. I mean, there's udon is also white, but udon is not thin like this. Udon is thicker. Yeah, so. There's also something called somen, but somen is not really that common. Yeah. Hello, Masaya, snap out a bit. <laughs> she, he's, he's gone. <laughs> Hello, Masaya, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you, Masaya? Come on, Masaya, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> why is this silent? Yeah, what are you doing, man? Masaya. <laughs> uh, what? Uh huh? Ishinose-san's voice suddenly drags me back to reality. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Once I take in my surroundings, I notice that Ishinose-san is flapping her mouth as though she's swallowing the words she was about to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Seems like I spaced out there. You spaced out for very long there. <laughs> Masaya. Actually. It seems like Masaya is really into this girl. Which makes me think that this girl is actually the true heroine. True main heroine. Rather than... Yeah, rather than 
uh, Asuka, even though Asuka is the first girl that yeah, Masaya meets. But well, he, well, well, I mean, he was at a point th thinking of Asuka earlier, right? But this is one that he actually well, became attracted to, like, when he saw her flying in the air just now for the first time. Like, the, the, her, the way she flew was really, really, and yeah enticed him really like attracted him really attractive so he was really mesmerized like that you know so it seems like she's actually a true hero in fact uh, but I still go in the order that I said before uh, this girl Ichinose probably I'll save her for well uh, she'll, be, she'll be the second girl that I'll go for yeah either the second or the third I'll see I expected to see Krasina san's face upon the opening the door, which is widely unexpected. Or rather, anticlimactic developments stunned me. It's not anticlimactic though, this girl is the one you saw earlier. <laughs> Did I do anything rude? You okay? Ishinose san looks about ready to sing it to her niece as she hears my words. What exactly did I do wrong here? Yeah, a lot. You do. You did a lot of wrong, Masai. You spaced out. <laughs> That's a lot of wrong. I mean, you spacing out is okay, but you spaced out for goddamn long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is his family name Hyuga? Looks like she took a look at the dog thing and read it as Hyuga. It's Hinata. Masaya Hinata. Thank you for the polite introduction. Yeah, Hin Hinata is his family name. But Hyuga. Maybe, wait, I think Hinata is probably her ma his mother's name. Maybe he takes his name, his family name after his mother. But Hyuga is probably the father's name. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I was rude to you after all. <laughs> I know it's not your fault. No, wait, that's not what I was trying to say either. The two of us bow our heads to each other a few times, right? Hmm? Our eyes are the limit. That's. that's Masai actually not recognize her from just now. Maybe because she's wearing a different outfit, but still, you know. <laughs> huh? How am I supposed to interpret that smile? Relief, relief that you're not being rude to him, you know? Why is that? This isn't some secluded village. Don't worry, no one around here is like that. Now, this is even a redeveloped, redeveloped new residential district here on Konohama Island. Oh, that's cool. Now you gotta properly introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, that's my mom. Looks like she figured something was up since I didn't head over to tell her who it was. Yeah, yeah. 
多分大沢くん申し訳ありません私この度お隣に引っ越してまいりましたそんなに緊張しないでただのお隣さんだから How do you think it's here to you then, man? Why? Go talk to each other the same, oh man. <laughs> Not that mom's here, I can let her handle everything. Right as I'm about to leave, it, it occurred to you that this is the girl you met earlier. s h i n o s e s a n directs the power at me up the knives and I responded by lightly raising my hand. I walked down the hall and stopped in my tracks. And that's when it hits me. It finally hits you! <laughs> Yes, it's the same girl <laughs> who was flying just now. Yes, I get it. She's definitely the girl from earlier. I probably should have recognized her right away, but I was paying more attention to how she was flying than how she looked. Ah, okay, then I, okay, you're forgiven for not realizing earlier. At least I finally remember the face of the girl I saw from earlier. If she's that good, then maybe she's. Shake my head to clear my mind. Babe, what, what were you thinking though? If she's that good, then maybe she's. she's what? Even if she is, why should I care? I mean, you should. I feel like learn from her. 